I'm going to turn one of these video ideas from scratch and blow it up into a full YouTube video. If you're a beginner to content creation with AI tools this video is perfect for you. You're also going to learn how to create content yourself in under 5 minutes using some free artificial intelligence tools which I'll show you. These AI tools are going to accelerate your content creation workflow. Choosing the topic for a video. Writing the script. Recording the audio. Creating the visuals by yourself. All of these tasks can take hours, days, or even weeks. But we are going to do all that within minutes. Let's start. Step 1. Writing an article using free AI tools. We already have a video idea. I'll head over to a free AI writer. In this case I can select any AI writer from four of the top free unique article generators to produce as many variations of articles on the same topic. I can use copy.ai, write cream, writer, or simplified. Do well to stay around until the end of this video as this would be the quickest tutorial you'd see on this topic. Briefly, on copy.ai, I'm going to head over to the blog wizard. Here, I'm going to input my video idea and generate an article by following the text prompts. On simplified.co, I'm going to do the same thing. I'll head over to the AI assistant and select the long form writer to create a full article on the topic. On right cream I'm going to head over to the AI writer. Next is to input my idea. The AI generates a list of suitable topics. I'll pick one topic from the list and proceed to write the intro paragraph, the outlines, the full article, and then do some minor edits. For now I'm going to copy and paste this article into my Google Docs for later editing. On writer.me, I'm going to create a new project. Give it a title and input my video idea. I'm going to select a use case in the tools panel and choose blog idea and outline. After generating a suitable title and outlines, I'll use blog section writing tool to write out each section one after another. When I'm done, I'll also copy the article to my Google Docs for the next step. Step 2. Article rewriting and YouTube video script production. I'm going to produce a single write-up from these articles. To do this I'm going to read through all articles, pick up a few points here and there, delete some sentences and paragraphs, change some grammatical structures, and then get an initial draft. The next thing is to read through this initial draft and input my own ideas and unique perspectives on the topic. This is the point at which I would add some really good value to the video so that I can leave my viewers satisfied after watching. It's important to note that you should not write this script like you're going to post it on your blog. It's not going to be read, rather, it will be made into a video. Video scripts for YouTube and articles for blog posts don't share the same format. I'm going to spend enough time on this important process until I get a satisfactory result. After this whole process, I now have a final YouTube video script. Before we proceed, I want to ask for a quick favor. Press the subscribe button. But if you don't want to subscribe, please touch either the like or the dislike button. It's very important feedback to us here. Thank you. Step 3. Video Editing and Production at this stage I'm going to produce a video and an audio voiceover for my content. I'll head over to Pictory or InVideo, but I'm going to show you how both of them work. On Pictory, I'll create a free account, go to Create New Project and choose Text to Video option. I'll paste in the script I have made. The AI would analyze my script and find suitable scenes and media for each sentence in my script. I'm going to download the video. After the AI has done its job, and this will serve as my guide while I create a proper professional video content. I can also do this on in video, paste in a script, and let the AI find suitable clips and put it all together for me. Pictory is much more robust, as you can see that in video could not find suitable media for some of the sentences in my script. I'll have to do the extra work by myself in order to fill in these blank spaces. To create a free voiceover I'll head over to Clipchamp Free Online Video Editor. I'll navigate to the AI text-to-speech tool in the record and create option, and paste in my script. I'll play around with the parameters and also find a suitable AI voice, and then click on Generate to create the voiceover. I'll download the voiceover file to my computer to produce a professional video for my content. I can use Veed or continue editing on Clipchamp. On Veed, I'll create a new project, give it a name and get to work. I'm going to import the audio file first, and then start building video clips to match what has been said in the audio. By looking through the video generated by Pictory or in video, I can draw inspiration or replicate something similar on Veed. But with a more professional feel, better transition and effects, and with enhanced customization. Feed doesn't allow the use of stock videos directly in their online editor without a paid subscription plan. But this is not the case with Clipchamp. So for this video, I'm going to continue editing my video on Clipchamp, 
as most of its stock assets is free to use with a small watermark. When I'm done with the video editing, I could add some graphic elements and maybe an end screen to the video. There's a lot of royalty-free videos on Pexels and Pixabay. I could also look through these free stock video sites to find clips suitable for my video if I can't find them on the ClipChamp library. When the video editing is complete, I can download my video. Step 4. Creating a thumbnail. Making a thumbnail for my YouTube video can be easily done with Canva for free. I'll head over to the search bar and search for YouTube video thumbnails. I'm going to look for thumbnail templates similar to the video category in which my video falls. If I see one that's going to fit in, I would go ahead to customize the thumbnail. This is not difficult as the main points to consider are clarity, accurate pictorial representation of the video content, and use of words that would summarize my video content. Step 5 and final step uploading and post-upload activities in the YouTube studio. I've created a video and I've also made a thumbnail for the video. I have a title and a video description. The next thing is to upload the video to my channel and update the thumbnail. Give the video a title and add some description. To get suitable tags for my video, I will go over to YouTube and search for a video that has a similar topic to my own video and is doing well on YouTube. I'll copy the link to the video and paste it into this website called YTube Tool. This tool is going to generate the tags that was used in that video. I can use these tags on my own video too. The last thing is to make my video public for my intended audience. This is basically how to create content as a beginner. Replay this video if you need to. And thanks for watching.